what's up everyone welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are enjoying your day in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how i created these colorful blinged out y2k duck nails yes i finally got my duck nails down pat to where they don't look like bell bottoms it took three tries but you know what they say the third time is a charm as you can see i've already got them glued on and everything and ready to go I'm gonna be using this new lamp from Madame Glam since I'm doing a gel and a poly gel set. It's called the Cali UV LED lamp. It has two light settings, um, a 60 second and 120 second for slow curing so you don't get like heat spikes and stuff. And it's a 36 watt lamp. It works really, really good for curing your nails. It cures all the way through so I really like it. I'm also gonna be using some other products from Madame Glam in the video later on which we'll get to. But yeah, I finally got my duck nails to look how I want them to look. I would have liked them to be slightly longer, but we're on the right track. This length is long enough to where my fingers don't look stubby, so I'm happy with the way they turn out. I didn't film me gluing them on because I had this glue from McCart and it takes forever to dry so it was kind of like irritating me but i basically did the same thing i did in my other two videos where i tried to do duck nails except when i glued down my nail tips i cut them down a lot shorter before double tipping them with the duck nail tip and that's how i got this length so i didn't have to like you know take down a lot of the flare at the bottom because they weren't really that long that's why the flare kind of kept disappearing in my last two videos because i had to take it down a little bit because they were just like way too long but they did turn out to look like bell bottom nails so i guess i discovered a new shape along the way so it works out i guess so right now i'm doing the base on all of the nails this is a poly gel set so i went in with my model one's dehydrator and primer which works really good by the way i've been using it for the last couple weeks i used it on my toes last week and it worked really really good on my toes as well i didn't get any lifting or anything and so far it's worked really good on my nails so i'm also using a poly gel from model ones as a base on all the nails it's the number 015 it's from their nude poly gel kit and it's kind of like a beige pinkish nude it looks a little bit dark right now but once i apply the nail art and everything it doesn't look as dark it's just because it's by itself in the lighting and everything but yeah, it's a really nice pinkish beige color, really nice for a nail bed shade. Like since I'm doing French nails and everything like that, this is a good base. So Model One's poly gel is pretty runny and it kind of like sticks to your brush. So I'm using a little bit of base gel as a slip solution to help with the fact that it's kind of sticky so my brush doesn't stick to it so that the poly gel doesn't run into the cuticle area that tends to happen if it sits onto the nail for too long since it's so soft so as you can see i just kind of like squeeze the poly gel onto the nail at first and i start patting it in place after i apply the base gel i usually keep the rounded end that i squeeze out of the bottle up by the nail bed area to build the apex and then the rest of it i just pat side to side down the nail but as you can see using the base shell makes it a whole lot easier to apply onto the nail and i also recommend if you're using model one's poly gel to kind of just lightly apply the poly gel onto the nail don't press it really hard because the poly gel will stick to your brush more All right, so the base on the nails was pretty simple. I just applied one color, so it didn't really take that long. And now I'm gonna go ahead and quickly shape them up. 
I only put one coat of the poly gel because that was enough to cover the nails. So I'm using a 180 sanding band to file these. Since poly gel files down faster, um, I don't want to take off too much product because I don't want them to be too thin. So a sanding band is just fine for poly gel, really. I'm using my Melody Susie Jade nail drill and dust collector. Everything I use in the video will be linked in the description box in case you didn't know along with my discount codes and everything. But yeah, I'm just kind of smoothing out the nails. I'm going around the cuticle area and then just smoothing side to side down the nail like I normally do. I'm making sure to file underneath the nail in case I got like any poly gels stuck under there, which I did get a little bit stuck under there at the end. So I'm just kind of like filing that off. Um, and I do kind of file along the sides a little bit with the drill to kind of take down some of the bulk on the sides um, so that I don't have as much hand filing to do. You just want to make sure not to file away too much of the flare because they're duck nails so filing too much at the tip can take away the flare so you just want to be careful with that i kind of file more so along the sides before i get to the flare if that makes any sense And now I'm going to shape them up with my hand file. So for these, I'm just filing kind of like straight up and down on the sides. That's kind of like the best way I figured to shape them up rather than filing inward because if you file inward, then you're kind of going to take away the flare. So I'm just filing straight a couple times on the sides to make sure the sides are nice and sharp and then I'm like holding my file at an angle and then filing straight across at the bottom so that the tip of the nails is nice and straight. Then I just go in with a buffer to buff out the scratches. These are really easy to shape up.
reading. Okay, so to do the nail art, I'm going to be using some colors from the Madame Glam House of Fun Summer Collection. I'm using this neon pink called Glam Element, also this Malibu blue color called Always and Forever. I love the bottle design on the bottles in this collection. Also, I'm using this creamsicle orange color called Daystar, but yeah, I like how they've been doing bottle designs on their polishes lately. It's really cute. I love this neon green. It's called Celestial Judge. It's like a really bright neon highlighter green. Also, I'm going to be using this purple color called Electrica. These gels are vegan and cruelty free if you didn't know. And then I'm also using this lighter blue called Lucky Number no. 9. These are all the colors that I'm using on the nails to do the design. If I don't use them on this hand, I will be using them on my other hand in the video. I can't remember if I use them all on this hand in the video, but there was some colors like the purple one. I used it on the thumb and on my other hand. But yeah, I did use all these colors. There's also two more colors in the collection. It's like a red and a green, but it didn't really go with my vibe for this set. But yeah, on this nail, I'm going to apply some of this Born Pretty Blooming Gel and I'm going to be doing kind of like one of those crock print designs. So I'm using that blue shade Always and Forever and I'm just using a dotting tool to kind of like make little rectangles going down the nail and then the same thing with that creamsicle orange shade called Daystar. Then I'm going to put a little dot of the highlighter green celestial jungle in the middle of those orange spots and let it bloom for a couple seconds then i'm going to go ahead and cure it in my lamp for 60 seconds Now I'm going to go ahead and paint the French on this nail with the neon pink shade called Glam Element. I'm using my detail brush to kind of outline how I want the French and then I'm going to fill in the tip with the polish straight out of the bottle. Then I kind of go in with my detail brush again and just kind of like straighten up my lines. I do need to go in with a second coat as you can see of the pink. Um, just to make it a little bit more pigmented. You do want to apply thin coats with these polishes since they're cream gels and they're a lot thicker. You don't want to apply them too thick at first because it will cause them to not cure properly in your lamp and they'll wrinkle up. So thin coats are the best with Madame Glam polishes. But as you can see, I'm just kind of like tightening up the small line a little bit and then I'm going to cure my lamp and then just repeat that same process. And on this nail, I'm going to do the same thing, except I'm going to be using that neon green shade called Celestial Jungle.
ini. Alright, so now that the French is all painted, I'm gonna do a little zebra print design on this nail with that creamsicle orange color called Daystar. And I'm using my detail brush to do it. I'm basically just making little lines. As you can see, you wanna use the tip of your brush to make thinner lines. I also did cut some of my brush hairs off so that the lines can be a little bit thinner. It did help out a lot since my brush kind of like went like all weird after I put it in the cap it was kind of like frayed a little bit and I couldn't get it to go back to normal so I just chopped those hairs off and then it went really thin which actually worked out for me because then I'm able to get thinner lines now but yeah zebra print is super easy you just make like longer lines and then smaller ones and then go ahead and cure on this nail I'm going to be doing a blooming gel marble so I'm applying the blooming gel to the nail first then i'm basically going to place the colors on the nail with my dotting tool i'm using the pink glam element i'm also using always and forever which is that malibu blue i'm using that lighter blue which is called lucky number nine and the creamsicle orange shade which is called daystar so you basically just want to put the colors on the nail and then they'll bloom into each other like a marble you can use your dotting tool kind of like help swirl the colors together a little bit faster um, but it does create this pretty like blooming marble which i really really like so after i'm satisfied with how it looks i'm just going to wipe the edges so that the nail is not too thick and then i'm going to go ahead and cure it then i'm going to go ahead and add some charms to these nails to really make the design pop i feel like the charms made this set like even that much more better so i have all these new charms that i got i'll be doing a little haul on my tiktok soon so make sure you keep an eye out for that but yeah i got all these really cute new charms i'll try to link some of them in my amazon store if you want to purchase them on there but yeah i'm using some mccart rhinestone gel to apply them as you can see my rhinestone gel bottle had a little hole in it so the gel was squeezing out of the side so i kind of had to place it on the nail with my brush or my little um, rhinestone picker but nevertheless we got it done as always so i'm using that to apply some charms and i have these really cute butterfly charms some beaded charms also some little flowers ab rhinestones and then i also have these pink ab rhinestones that i'm going to be using so i have a bunch of different little charms i'm just going to be putting on there but i really feel like the charms made this set like that much better it was just like so cute it really gave that colorful y2k vibe
After applying the charms on the nail, I'm going to go ahead and top coat all the nails with this Model 1's top gel. I'm top coating some of the charms because some of them can lose their coating after washing your hands. So if you top coat them, it creates a seal over the charm so that they don't fade when you wash your hands or take a shower. Ringy.
Then to finish up, I'm gonna moisturize my cuticles with some of this new cuticle balm called Nourish Me from Madame Glam. It's aloe and cucumber scent. I really like this a lot. They also sent me a cuticle pen that's lime, basil, and mandarin scent. But I like the cuticle balm better because it moisturizes your cuticles without leaving them so oily like a cuticle pen or just like a regular cuticle oil. So if you don't really like oily fingers, that would be really nice. Plus, I like the way it smells better. This um cuticle pen moisturizes your cuticles really good but it smells a little bit strong for me the orange in it is like a little bit too much because i'm allergic to oranges but i like the way the cuticle balm smells it almost has like a calming scent to it like when you put it on it makes you feel calm so i highly recommend um this if you're interested in it but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video that's pretty much it don't forget to like comment and subscribe before you leave make sure you hit the notification bell if you do subscribe to so get notified when i upload a new video and follow me on instagram and tiktok if you're not already and i'll see you guys in the next one bye i love you guys Oh, 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 oh,